Shards of glass cover the streets of eastern Baghdad outside of Jawahara Mall, where 20 people died after Islamic State terrorists detonated their suicide vests on Monday. The same day, 30 others were killed in Muqtadiya following explosions. Responsibility for these attacks have been claimed by IS, but the events have unleashed unspeakable terror in Muqtadiya for the town's majority Sunni inhabitants. In the past two days, a total of nine Sunni mosques and several shops have been set ablaze by militias and gangs of armed men, stoking fear and distress among residents. While Baghdad has been placed on high alert with security measures stepped up across the capital, little has been done to protect civilians at risk of militia violence in Muqtadiya. Diyala province, mostly inhabited by Sunnis, extends across northeastern Baghdad as far as the Iranian border. Its geographic proximity has led locals to accuse Iranian-backed militias of manipulating the province's demographic composition. Local sources reported that Shia militias are executing scores of men in front of their families, and this commander, Ali Hamid al-Tamimi, is said to be the chief agent behind these atrocities. An image posted on Twitter earlier today purportedly shows a truck carrying the corpses of young men killed since Monday. Medical sources FRB spoke to inside of Diyala claimed that the death toll has exceeded the 100 mark. Pressure is mounting for Sunni parliamentary speaker Salim al Jabouri, also from Mokdadiya, for failing his own people, as many are accusing him of. He was denied entry into his hometown by Shia militias, where he was expected to deliver a press conference. He was forced instead to relocate to neighboring Baquba. <laughs> It is not the first time Diyala Sunni inhabitants have been ordered to leave their homes, nor is it the first time that the city has been soaked in blood. While Jabouri has openly condemned these attacks, warning that those responsible aim to undermine efforts for civil peace, he has not named those guilty, nor has action been taken against them to prevent further violence. Newly leaked information purports that the government of Iraq provided minutes of Arab League meetings on request to Iran. The revelation was announced by Shabakat Iraq News following a conversation with a high-ranking source from inside Iraq's Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Monday. The article accuses Iraqi Premier Haider al-Abadi of providing copies of the minutes of Arab League meetings after he was approached by Iranian sources. No names were provided, but Shabakat News raised questions about Iraq's foreign minister Ibrahim Jafari's friendly alliances with Iran, also the man charged with representing Iraq at league summits. Some analysts believe that the alliance renders Iraq a pawn in Iraq's struggle for regional power. But Jafari has dismissed these concerns, which Saudi Arabia has previously voiced, claiming that Baghdad seeks good relations with both nations. Earlier this month, the organization condemned Iranian meddling in Arab affairs after Saudi Arabia executed prominent Shia cleric Nimr al Nimr. But some continue to argue that Iranian interference is most felt in neighboring Iraq.